So you guys are going to go to start. Start. Where's the start? I, I already have start. a page out okay. here. I already have my start. Already. All programs. Oh, sweet. I'm already on there. Microsoft oh. Office 2013. I've got to do it again. And Microsoft Word 2013. It'll just say Word 2013. I'm already there. Because you're awesome. <laughs> oh, there it is. What's mine right there? You guys are going to click on blank document. I don't know where it's supposed to go. Mine's new. So the first thing you guys are going to have to do to create a maze is insert a table. So we kind of went over this last time, but you're going to go up to insert. And you're going to click on table. And instead of selecting boxes this time, we're going to go to insert table. Okay, so I'm just you, and you just do what any size. All right. A good size is 14 by 14. How many do you do? I did my so I'm going to do 14 by 14. If you want to add more, you can. How do we enter a table? 14 by 14 is a good size. That's tiny. I did 13 by 13. Or 30 by All 13. All right. Yeah, this is We're going to leave auto fit alone because we do want them to just be fixed. We don't want them to move. So we're going to click OK. And you'll get a little table like that. That's pretty tiny. I did 30 by 30. How much do we have to zoom? All right, I want you guys to click select the table by clicking the, the plus up here. Yeah. Whoa. It's going to select it. What the heck? And then up here where it says home. Where? Oh. At the top. Home. It says home right here. Yeah. Click on it. And I want you to click on the paragraph, paragraph and the little arrow next to the paragraph where it says paragraph. Whoa. Oh, the arrow. Oh, okay, yeah. All right, right here, line spacing, you're going to go double. And then click OK. That's going to bring them further down. So I'm going to click right here in this first box. We're going to write start, right? And we're going to type the word start. In the first box, click click on it and then type the word start. Now you can put them anywhere you want. I'm going to put my start way up there and my end way down here because that makes sense. Well, we'll fix that later. So start and end. Put them wherever you want them. Alright guys, next step is to click the design tab. As you can see, um, if you guys click off of it, there's a design tab there. Okay, that's not the design tab we want. What we want is when you're on your table, there's a little yellow design tab that shows up right here. So you're going to click that design tab. And what we're going to be playing with is this border. So as you notice, um, I'm just going to select one box here. Whatever border I go to, so say I click left border, it's going to make the left border disappear. If I click bottom border, it's going to make the bottom border disappear. So I want you guys to pay attention um, to this part. When I click bottom border here, you can see that border disappears. If I go to left border, the left border disappears. Right border, the right border disappears. And that's how we're going to create our mace. Okay, so you can select more than one. So you can select here, I'm going to select four. And I'm going to tell it to make all of the inside borders disappear. And now you can see there's no lines in here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that. I can go down and I can also tell it make these inside borders disappear. Now all of these are gone. And I'm going to keep going through and doing that until I have created a maze. Make sure that you have um, some that don't lead to the end because it is a maze. You don't want them to just be able to go straight to the end real easy. You want to make it zigzag. You want to make it go around. You want to make it a little more complicated for them. And just keep doing this. Remember, if you mess up, you can always go to this button up here. 
it's undo and it'll undo the last thing that you did undo okay all right keep going through it until you get your maze done all right once you have your maze complete now we need to put a theme to it and I want you guys to choose a theme that you've been talking about in language arts um, right now you've been talking about some really great people Martin Luther King Cesar Chavez um, I can't remember all of them but um, I want you to pick one of them and we're gonna theme your maze to match your language arts so I really like Cesar Chavez because I think it's really great he did that march to get from get labor rights from where they were to where they are today so um, I'm gonna choose Cesar Chavez so I'm gonna go to the internet and I'm gonna find a picture of Cesar Chavez um, I like this picture so I'm gonna right click on it save picture as um, Cesar Chavez okay and then I'm also want a picture of his march so I'm gonna type that in alright so I really like this one so I'm gonna save that picture and I'm gonna call it March and then I also want a picture of field work so I'm gonna look for that and you want not too many pictures but you want a few pictures just to make your maze more interesting so I'm gonna find, find um, people working in the fields here here's a good one alright and that should be plenty so now I'm gonna come down here to the bottom um, you wanna make sure that you're not in one of these columns because what will happen is it'll stretch your maze real out real far out if you are in one of those columns so you wanna click down here underneath and I'm going to go to insert pictures let me show you again a little slower insert pictures and I like to hold down the control key that way I can select them all at once um, if you want to do them one at a time you can so again the control keys right there I'm gonna hold it down and that's gonna allow me to click on just the pictures I want um, where's what's my other one there we go and then I'm going to click insert and it's going to put all three right here. Now I want to resize them because I don't want them so big. So I'm going to click and I want to click. I'm going to show you guys. Let me zoom in here. So I don't know if you guys can see the mouse there. Make it a little closer. All right. So see my mouse? You want to select the edge of the picture to where it turns into an arrow. It might be easier if I show you right here. So I'll click on it and then it'll turn into an arrow. That's going to allow me to click and drag and make it smaller. Okay. So I want to do that to all three pictures, make them small enough to fit in my... Alright, so I want the center one to be the march. So I'm going to highlight the cells where I want to put it. And then I'm going to go to... Um, let me find it. Yeah, layout. And I'm going to click merge cells. That, what that's going to do is that's going to make this one big box and that'll allow me to insert the picture right into that box that no, didn't work All right. so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put a space above that there we go alright and it's okay if your boxes get a little stretched out it's just going to make your maze bigger so I want to put Mr. Cesar Chavez I think I want to put him probably up in here somewhere. Um, you know, maybe I'll put him right here. So I'm going to merge these again, layout, merge cells, and I can grab him, put him up in there. Okay, to put our title, we want to click and it's easiest if you click in the start menu and then kind of hit the up arrow key it's going to take you up you want to click enter so it was like this before I'm gonna show you um, you're going to hit enter and it's going to make your maze go down do it a couple times then we're going to go to insert and we're going to do the word art and pick the one you want 
I'm going to name mine, um, I kind of want to move it up a little more. There we go. I'm going to name it Cesar Chavez. Remember to stretch this out. Do a little um, formatting. Transform it. Um, okay. And again, file. We're going to save it. My documents. Name it your name and maze. Save. Um, we're also going to do a screenshot for your website. Make sure nothing is selected. Um, that'll work. Control Alt Print Screen. If you guys can't remember that, I'll show you one more time. Um, Control Alt and then Print Screen. Takes a picture. Go to your website. And click on yours, not mine, edit, go down to the bottom, and then you're going to hit control, you're going to write, oh, we skipped a step, didn't we? First, you got to go to file, new, blank document, you're going to paste it, you're going to save picture as, I'm going to call it Caesar Chavez Maze. Alright, I'm going to close that. I don't need it. Alright, here. Images and files. Upload file. Um, let's find pictures. There you go, our Caesar Chavez Maze. We're going to open it. Look where we want it. Caesar Chavez Maze. Remember to right click it, crop image. I'm going to take off anything that's not necessary. Crop and save. Now you should have your maze on your page. And I'm going to click save. And now my maze should be on my page down here. Okay. You're also going to go back here and you're going to print this out because this will be your homework for your parents. So print. You're going to make sure this doesn't say 1720. Make sure it says 3100 and click print. And that's it. You're done with this assignment as well.